assign ticket to myself so I can get credit and it says here my desktop uh, loses internet connection few times per day okay maybe four or five times a day I lose internet connection but it would it would come back after maybe five to ten seconds sometimes it will not come back and just say no internet connection I would restart the computer to get back to the internet I am on the home network and connected on LAN I have tried to change the wire but still the same my other computer on the same network has no problem okay so there are many reasons for this um, you you've kind of stated things of your situation which uh, stated facts about your situation which is great I really appreciate that but I will go ahead and cover a lot of things that may cause this so we've got a situation where you lose internet for four to five times a day now the first thing that comes to mind is that there is an issue with an ISP right your internet service provider whoever provides you internet you know if you're losing a four or five times a day uh, then that is highly likely to be the cause right and then from there you would move on to trying to do some basic things on your local end like resetting your modem like your internet modem you would basically just unplug it from the wall this is what I usually tell users and not to go any further uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with modems and how they work is to unplug it from the wall the power just the power unplug it from the wall wait like 10 seconds plug it back in so this will reset it and what that would do would reassign or acquire a new IP address hopefully hopefully it should require a new IP address for that modem okay so it's kind of similar to this if you were to open up a command line type in IP config forward slash uh, all it will give you an IP address of your computer and if you're directly connected to the modem itself this is what the, your IP address would be directly for that modem and given to you from the modem chances are and this would this would be it here IP address and th assuming that you're directly plugged into the modem and there is no switch or a router in between okay so you're directly plugged into the modem there is no other network right so when you unplug your your uh, modem from power you know you pull the plug you wait 10 seconds this is what you're doing IP config forward slash release uh, well I can't do it if I hit release now it's going to uh, disconnect me from remote desktop but this is the command that you would do it releases your IP address just like it says here okay it will release your IP address I almost uh, messed myself up here if I hit enter I would have lost connection to this remote desktop that I'm using okay so if you do this command IP config forward slash release it will release this IP address here okay so if you do a con I and then afterwards if you want to see that you don't have a new that you don't have an IP address you can again do IP config forward slash all and it will run the uh, it will get the settings and show you information it would instead of saying this it would just be blank or zero I forget exactly but there would be no IP address but when you unplug it you do this this is what's happening IP config release so when you plug it back in when you plug back in when your modem gets power again after 10 seconds this is what it's doing renew it does IP config renew and you can do this on your own computer as well just to see what happens and this will renew your IP address and you will get new IP address again okay so that's one of the things that, that I'm thinking about uh, and then you said here but I it, but it would come back after maybe five to ten seconds so this what this tells me is that there is some kind of a um, connection issue in the sense that either the 
the signal is bad, right? The either signal is bad. So if you are um, doing wireless connection, then you may be just too far from the router or you know, to, from the router. Let's just stick to the home setup here from the router or a hotspot. Uh, that could be the cause, right? You move away farther and you may lose connection because you're losing signal. However, he did uh, mention, and lame is, the name is Lantistos. Lantistos? Um, I apologize if I mispronounced your name. But thank you for submitting ticket, by the way. Uh, so, user mentioned that uh, it would, you, you know, it would be five to 10 seconds, uh, it would come back. But also mentioned that they are connected uh, physically here because they've mentioned changing the wire, which I'm assuming is the cable, network cable, right? So wireless issue is out of question. So what's the other thing that could be causing here? It would come back after maybe five to five to ten seconds. This could be an issue where your router is simply running out of IP addresses to provide, to lease, as what they call. So every time you connect a computer to a network, whether it's your home network or any other business network, uh, you will get an IP address and you will get a lease on it. Basically, how long it lasts before the lease on it, meaning like I'm allowing you to use this IP address for this amount of time. Um, if you happen to disconnect, and here it is, lease obtained, right? And it tells you when it was obtained and then when the lease expires. So this one is literally 24 hours. If I'm disconnected by then, I will lose this lease. So here's your computer. And let's say this is your router and you've got other computers on the network which you know like this one two three four five if suddenly number five here is disconnected like it's it's no longer connected to this switch here let me see if i can i'm gonna say I'm going to call it a router here, R slash modem, right? And then we got your PC here, PC. And these are just other computers, right? And then if you suddenly lose connection to this one disconnects, it's no longer available, it's no longer connected, then now you suddenly can get an IP address to this computer. So this is what I was telling you earlier. However, if this whole thing is not a problem, right? If this whole thing is not a problem, then you actually may have a physical issue with the network adapter itself. You can view this in device manager. You can observe this while you're losing connection. Uh, let me see here. Okay. You can observe this sometimes if there is an issue with the network adapter just getting this out of the way. Where are my network adapters? Here we go, network adapters. Not just network adapters, but uh, see, here's the one that I'm using right now. Not just network adapters, but any hardware. If there are some kind of issue where it's not working properly, you will see this thing go in and out. Literally, it would flash. It would uh, have some kind of an exclamation mark on it. Um, it would sometimes try to reinstall a driver for it. And then you would see this. It would be, uh, you would see some icons here happening uh, that would indicate this. And it would basically be your setting, it would be doing something like this, and then it would suddenly be installed. And it would do something like this, and then it would suddenly be gone. This, what this is doing, it's refreshing the screen and updating it in, in real time. So look at this here. And of course, you can go to the event viewer. As I've showed in previous video, go to the event viewer. Windows logs system and do um, just look for uh, critical errors and you can do a custom view here just like we did previously here 
and look for a critical and do error uh, and, and do a warning one as well here and then just click OK and say anytime just to make it simple to see what's going on if it happens if it's happening now do a last hour because this can take forever if the computer has been running for a while uh, click OK and then you will see any issues that may come up that might have like an exclamation mark you know so yeah look through the through the um, event viewer see if anything you know comes up here and then you can view the details and if there are issue with the network adapter it will show up in here and you would just you would see it it would be apparent and you can you can kind of sort by source this and that and if it's if it happened recently it will definitely coming up it'll tell you that you know it's losing connection this and that i hope that's easy to understand now let's see did i miss anything i am on the home network connected on lan well i mean that's given uh, but I think I know what you mean. You mean local area network, which I think you're assuming that um, when you're when you say LAN, that LAN is not including wireless, but it actually is. When you're connected to the wireless, you're still connected to the network. You're just connected wirelessly. It's still local area network. But I know what you mean. You're physically connected, and then you say I have tried to change the wire, but still the same. My computer. Uh, on the same network, my other computer on the same network has no problem. If if that's the case, you know, it's it's most likely the network adapter in this in this situation is what I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, uh, unless you know, go through the router if you can log into it and see the network settings. You know, make sure that you know it's a, that that it's able to provide more than one IP address. Uh, but uh, if it's just this one computer that's causing the problem, I would look at the hardware issues uh, rather than anything else. Uh, meaning that your, you know, LAN port. And let me just do this real quick. LAN port. You know, look at this in the, in the back. Here it is, right here, on the back of your computer. You know, just check that. Uh, well, I mean, you, you can look at it physically, but w w what I showed you to look at the device manager, that's what you should be looking at. And that's most likely the problem. Get a different driver, update the driver for it. And uh, yeah, just update the driver. Let me show you this real quick. Sorry, I'm spending a little bit more time on this one, but I like it because it's not a common, uh, it's not a common ticket that I get. So see right now, I'm just, I have it open without being an administrator, but if you just right click it and just update the driver, or, you know, if you go to properties, look at the driver and update the driver here. Uh, or you can go to the manufacturer for your computer, whether it's HP or a custom built computer, it's going to have specific drivers that you can download and install. So that's your best course of action. And this is the type of note we will leave. So we're going to leave a note here and says, hello, this is Irvin with PC support. I swear, I'm holding shift every time. There it is. I don't know. I guess my shift is messed up uh, whenever I try to type that C. Anyways, this is Erwin with PC support. Uh, please check below. Or please... Um, well, please watch my video because that's the best way for me to explain this to you. But... Um, you know what? I'm going to I'm I, I'm going to say please update the network adapter driver. You can go to the uh, man manufacturer manufacturer. See, I wasn't going to say this because I don't know how to spell this properly. Manufacturer. Aha. Thank God for spell check. Oh, my God. You can go to manufacturer's website to download an updated driver. Also, please watch my video this Sunday, this Sunday.